Hey there, level three. Uh, so we are on a casualty of war, actually. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, actually, we'll probably do the Roman bullet as well. Uh, so if you turn to pages 84 and 85, uh, you will... Um, you will you will see what we're working on. So uh, the the Roman bullet. And by the way, when you're done with these two translations, tack them onto the end of big A, big B, big C, and then on a different sheet, like you're writing these down, you're typing. I know. Uh, but then uh, do exercises 61, lil A and lil B. Pay attention to uh, page 84's discussion on ablative with special cases, and then send me that. All right. So here we go with the translation of the inscription on the Roman bullets. You should really read about them. It's kind of fun, especially knowing what we know of anatomy. Uh, so um, let's see. Ferry Pompum. Uh, so that is hit Pompeius. So people would like carve little writings into their uh, sling bullets. Uh, this is not unlike using chalk on, uh, on bombs. If you take a look at uh, Hitler's Easter eggs, you'll see American Af African American soldiers uh, writing Happy Easter on uh, bombs that they would then drop on Germany during World War II. Uh, the second one, uh, a gift for uh, Asculianus, or Asculans, rather. Uh, so just, you know, hey, I know that this guy is a general over there. I'm going to hit him in the head. Uh, runaways, you've had it. I like that one. Like You, you all ran from Rome. When we were charging. Um, and then the last one. Here's some hell for you, devil. Uh, <laughs> just, okay. Uh, so, yeah, is is kind of fun. Um, the word M uh, is actually an interjection uh, when you are handing something to someone or, or pointing something out to someone. Like, here. Uh, it comes from emera, emo emera, which originally, you know, we have it as to buy, but it really means to take. So, take this. Okay. So that is uh, the Roman bullets, now a casualty of war. Uh, if you take a look at page 85, uh, they give you the inscription, uh, and then they also give it to you in bold so that you'll understand. And what it says is, uh, to Marcus Caelius, uh, now this means like dedicated to Marcus Caelius, the son of Titus of the Lemonian tribe, uh, the home of whom was Bononia, which we now know as Bologna, uh, the, he's a centurion of the 18th legion. Uh, that numbering always ticks off my level three students. Uh, it's X I I X 18. Uh, because remember, just because there's a universal way to do it doesn't mean that spread to all the peoples who were learning the language. And you're going to see little differences along the way, uh, little grammatical shifts and stuff like that. It's kind of like the difference in American English, uh, in British English or in, uh, California English and uh, Alabama English. Uh, you know, there's, there's, there's differences, right? Or Maine English, you know? Anyway, uh, Centurion of the 18th Legion, 53 and a half years old. Dude was old. Uh, he fell in the Varian campaign, and that would have been known to the locals, uh, is, is from uh, Quintus Varus. Um, it will be allowed to bring in his bones. In other words, you can bury his bones here. So this was set up, and then if you find his remains, you can bring them back here. Okay. Publius Caelius, the son of Titus of the Lemonian tribe, uh, his brother, uh, made this monument. Okay. Uh, so made this. So uh, Publius is the brother of Marcus, they're both the son of Titus, uh, and he made this monument for his brother. It was a very common Roman thing. Uh, you'll, if you ever come to Rome, uh, you'll see P.S. Uh, very often, and it means pecunia sua, with his own money. It's a very Roman thing to say, hey, I did this uh, afterwards. Uh, cool. So that's those two inscriptions. Add those to it, uh, and I will see you for chapter 62. Okay, I'm going to hit the button.